Hello friend, I'm Brian Hart. I'm Karen McFarlane Holman. Today I'm going to be talking about a movie that is not just my top five, instant top five Marvel movie. It's way more important than that. And I'm going to be sharing a grammar tip that you've probably never noticed. Let's get to it. My cool sheet is going to be a movie, and this is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This is a Marvel film, but so much more than that. So this was directed by Destin Daniel Critton, and it stars Simu Liu. Uh, it is Marvel's first solo uh, Asian-led film featuring a superhero that is, and it's a mostly East Asian cast. Uh, this is a very big deal and very long overdue. Uh, Asian culture and Asian people have been unrepresented in, in cinema forever, no big surprise. Um, there have been icons such as Jackie Chan, Jet Li, Donnie Yen, and Tony Ja, but these are actually people from East Asia. So Asian Americans especially have not been represented very well in Hollywood. So. There have been some more uh, things with Farewell and um, some other movies, Crazy Rich Asians and Minari, but to be a superhero in a Marvel film, the pinnacle of, that just takes it to another level. And again, it's long overdue. But so this is about um, Asian Americans that are both stuck in the middle. They're not Asian enough to please their elders and they're not American enough to know their place in the world. So that's really the only spoiler I'm gonna give you of the movie. It's also a really good Marvel film, so you should see it for that. But it is such a, it's kind of on par with Black Panther or Wonder Woman, where it's the first time that Asian Americans can look up at the big screen and see faces that look like themselves and have experienced things that they have experienced, obstacles overcome, but in a superhero level of greatness. So this impact cannot be overstated. It is so good and everyone should see it, including Asian Americans, but everyone else and it did do really well in the box office, which is great. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I am so excited to see this. And I was also thrilled that you said Wonder Woman because look what T-shirt oh, I wore hey, today. That's right. I didn't and even know you were going to talk about that. that. Yeah, yeah, no, because it was. That was the first really big, uh, you know, female-led superhero mm -hmm. movie in a long time. You know, the comic books, of course, and things like that. But never, no one thought that a woman could carry a film. And then it did great, and it was yeah. fantastic, and it was so important for women. And then Black Panther, so important for the black yes. culture. And then what I'm thinking about with this, so Asian Americans have not been represented well. And, mm -hmm. and then I'm thinking about Marvel, and I'm thinking about Doctor Strange, and how there was a character that should have been Asian, but was cast female, right? As a woman, yeah. as a, a white woman. Yeah. And there was a lot of flack for that, right? Oh, yeah. So there was a case where a woman is being represented, but really in the place where it should have been, someone yeah. who was Asian. Yeah, and there so. was tons of like reasoning that they had, and mm -hmm. even this, so even Shang-Chi, like the comic book history is super complicated. Uh, you know, there used to be one of the main, his dad was called Fu Manchu. So mm -hmm. again, still like represented, but in a horrible way. Yeah. So many bad tropes and stereotypes. And so they have corrected that. And it's good to see this. But again, so overdue. It's like finally, like I'm very glad it's here. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that all these movies, I mean, Marvel was behind DC and Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. You know, it took them an extra couple years before they did Captain Marvel. Then they finally did Black Widow as a feature. Yeah. Uh, so they're all behind, but thank goodness it's finally here. And the movie's great. Like I said, oh, the yeah. Marvel I'm movie is excited. great for the future of Marvel. It's super fantastical. There are two uh, post credit scenes, so make sure you stay for that. Okay. Good to know. So good. Um, okay, and it's still in the theaters, and our our, our yes. theaters still. Can I go in you, the theater? You, I don't know. I don't know as of the time, on. depends where you're at. You <laughs> yeah. can go. Um, it is only in theaters, so it's not streaming okay. at all. It will stream in Disney at time of recording. Mm -hmm. It's not streaming yet. Okay. Uh, it will go in 45 days. So it'll be in Disney Plus. Okay. So there's there's that as well. All but, right. Well, I want to see it. It's a must like see that. for the big screen mm -hmm. experience for sure, and to support Asian Americans mm -hmm. and East Asians and everybody else. Like yeah. for multiple reasons, you should go. But even bottom line, it's just a fantastic, probably top 
five top ten Marvel movie of all time. I can't wait. Yeah, so oh. good. Okay, thanks for talking about You're that. Very of course, welcome. you talked about it. I should have known you yes. would, but I didn't. Oh, yeah. think I've about already it. seen it twice, yeah. and I'm going again in, uh, tomorrow or Excellent. in two days. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, moving along. I'm going to be talking about for Michael Sheet something that has to do with grammar. And so I, I really enjoy anything that has to do with language. And Sometimes grammar hooks, uh, hooks us in weird ways and we don't really know what's going on. So what I'm gonna be talking specifically about is the difference between the hyphen, what's called an N dash, and what's called an M dash. So if you're just looking at, if you're reading something and you see a line that looks like that, they might all look the same, but they are different and I will try to delineate them all in these two minutes. A hyphen, this is the shortest one. A hyphen is used to connect two words that function in a particular concepts. so usually it's compound words, things like that, where they're linked together. It's also used to separate syllables of a word when there's a line break, although that's not really used quite as much. That was used more when um, typesetting was done by hand. And you also see it when you're separating numbers and things like that. That. The, by the way, um, hyphen comes, it's a Greek word, comes from hufen, meaning together. So that makes sense. There's, so there's your hyphen. But an N dash is used when writing about a range of things that are related. So for example, when you are writing about a specific range of years, such as 2009 to 2021, you would have an N dash in there or page ranges in a book. And the N dash gets its name from the fact that the dash is as wide as the letter N. So N is on purpose. So an M dash, you can guess, is now as wide as the word M. So it is longer. And this can be used as a substitute for a comma, a colon, a semicolon, or parentheses. So the vast majority of the correct uses of the M dash is to set apart a phrase or a clause. An example of this would be, um, you could say, oh, I think I'm going to go to the store. Not the one you think I do, or usually go to, but this other one or something. So you're just inserting something in there. So there you go. There's the hyphen, the N dash, and the M dash. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. I did not know any of that. <laughs> I could barely get the dash dash or the idiot. Whoa. Okay. Yes. Now that does uh, let me know why that sometimes when I'm using Grammarly or one of my other cheat tools mm -hmm. that they all of a sudden make a really long dash and I usually get rid of it. I'm like, what is that goofy <laughs> What's that? Thing? It's the M dash. Yeah, so it's way smarter than me, yeah. which doesn't take too much, but yeah. now I at least understand what it's doing and maybe I'll let it go because I was always like, it just looks weird, like mm -hmm. I don't understand. Um, yeah, uh, and also Grammarly always is adding a dash. I apparently do not, commas and dashes, I do not use them as much as I so should. So it's like, it's taking what you write and is putting it in there? Or well, it's yeah, what it, it does is it, cor it corrects, it's like, hey, you should have a dash here, or you oh, should have a comma here. And that is by far the number one correction I get, are those two things. I'm like, always, I'm not using comma enough, and huh. I'm not using dash or N or M or that's any actually, of those dashes. That's not a bad thing because most people overuse commas. Oh, so yeah. you're not. Apparently that's, not me. That's a good thing. There is something though, <sighs> Grammarly, I mean, they're supposed to be right. They're, you know, it's a program that I'm paying for, like the premium version. Mm -hmm. They are, they love commas. So they're Ooh. always making me add commas, always. And, and maybe that's stylistic or something, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know, but boy, oh boy, yeah. yeah. It's always like, comma, 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 comma. Oh, now you're pretty good. <laughs> dash. Oh yeah, dash here, dash there. But I, what I would say, if you <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about when I say hyphen, n dash, m dash, now you might be more aware. You'll notice them more. Yeah, probably so. And e so even if you're like, okay, you just spoke a bunch of words and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> like me. Now, that's what I was thinking. Now you'll take note and you'll go, oh, that's 
Yeah. That was a hyphen. Ah. Yeah. And, and it'll just come more into your sphere. Yeah. No, so. I love it. That's super cool. Thank you so much for You're welcome. That. And all the show notes you can get on this are on our website at tempestus.com slash 10 rings for uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So that's 10bestus.com slash 10bestus. Or, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> 10bestus.com slash 10rings. That was supposed to go really smoothly <laughs> and together. Hopefully it's not even more confusing, but uh, check out the show notes. I got it. So links to all of those. All right. Thanks for joining us, friend. I'm Brian Hart. I'm Karen McFarlane Holman. And let me know in the comments below, have you seen Shang-Chi and where does it rank in the Marvel Universe for you? And comment below about whether you have ever noticed the difference between a hyphen, an N dash, and an M dash. If you're enjoying the show, please like and tell a friend. Stay tuned tomorrow for another magnificent show. And don't forget to stay curious. <laughs>